hands up if you thought that uh, Huddersfield would get zero points from their last three games. So Huddersfield have gone to Stamford Bridge tonight and have got a draw, which means they are safe from relegation. They cannot get relegated. Swansea can finish on a maximum of 36. They're on 37. They are safe. Two draws from their last two games against Chelsea away, Manchester City away. That leaves Huddersfield safe. An incredible achievement by David Wagner. One of the smallest teams to ever grace the Premier League have survived. It looked like they had no chance. It looked like they were dead and buried and that Swansea were going to catch them and Southampton were going to catch them. But no, that's not what's happened. It was crazy. And congratulations to Huddersfield, their players, their fans. It's a great achievement from what they have just achieved. Huddersfield have one shot. And that was the one that counted. So it was a long ball through from Aaron Moy. And Lepotra got through. And he beat Caballero to the ball. And Caballero went down. And... Um, De Potra put the ball into the net for 1-0. Personally, I don't see anything wrong with what happened. He got the ball fair and square, and that's all that matters. As far as I'm concerned, he got the ball fair and square. It didn't seem like he touched Caballero, and he slotted in for 1-0. What happened next was a onslaught onto the Huddersfield goal, and they got one goal back uh, through Aaron Marcus Alonso. Um, he didn't know much, too much about it. It sort of reflected onto his face. It's sort of a reverse of um, what happened at uh, Liverpool and Roma, where hit him on his face and went in. Sort of a bit like that. And they just hammered the goal and hammered the goal, but they just couldn't get an, the winner. Um, they had a chance towards the end where uh, they kept having shots and the hardest field defence were just battering, they were getting battered and they just kept putting their body on the line and the ball fell to Christensen who headed the ball and Lossell, the goalkeeper who was colossal tonight got a fingertip touch onto the post and that has kept Huddersfield Town as a Premier League club fantastic achievement and well done to them but that has pretty much relegated Swansea. That's it's over. They're not going to catch Southampton. They need to win. Um, they need to be a ten-goal swing. Um, so they need to absolutely destroy Stoke, and hope that Southampton also got get destroyed by Manchester City. Uh, talking of Manchester City, uh, they're the next thing we need to touch on. They won three-one tonight, which takes them to a record thirty-one wins in a Premier League season. A record 105 goals, um, 103 were set by Chelsea, and a record points of 97, previously 95 set by Chelsea in 2005. What a season they've had, it's been absolutely incredible, and it's been a thrill to watch, and we are so lucky to see what Pep Guardiola's team has produced. They're... Currently 20 points clear of Manchester United. Manchester United have a game in hand, but it doesn't matter. They've just been absolutely phenomenal. They've probably been the best side this decade and, you know, are up there with the best sides that have ever graced the Premier League. No doubt about it. Um, now on to Arsenal. So Arsenal had a terrible start to the game. Um, they went... 1-0 down, um, they couldn't really get rid of the ball and um, Diabate, uh, the young lad, the young French lad they signed in January headed the ball back and Ikelechi Iniacho uh, scored the, uh, putting the ball into the corner it was a very good finish by Iniacho and he was involved again moments later um, when Mavroponis was basically dicking around with the ball and he lost the ball and Iniacho came in and he brought down Iniacho and he was deemed as the last man and was given a red card. Now personally, I can't remember who it was, um, but 
one of the players, maybe Clash and Natchett was, was certainly going to get back in time, at least. Uh, I think it was very harsh, but at the end of the day, just get rid of the ball. I, I wouldn't have given the red card, I thought it was too much. Um, but in the second half, start of the second half, Aubameyang um, got back Arsenal back into the game. It was a brilliant uh, run by Maitland-Niles who crossed in for um, the cross and Aubameyang missed it the first time but managed to put it into the roof of the net with his second shot. And that's how it stayed for 20 minutes. But once again, Arsenal let themselves down. Gray went into the box and was fouled by Henrik Mkhitaryan. And Jamie Vardy, as he usually does, hammers the penalty down the middle and makes it 2-1. Uh, Arsenal were looking for a goal at the end, but they could not uh, get one. And during the breakaway, Riyad Mahrez made it 3-1, uh, making Peter Cech look a bit of an idiot and put it into the bottom corner. Uh, so that's another... Uh, defeat for Arsenal and still have not picked up a single Premier League point this year away from home. Finally, Tottenham secured their Champions League football for next season in their brand new Spanker Stadium, beating uh, Newcastle United 1-0 with Harry Kane scoring the only goal of the game. And it was a brilliant finish into the roof of the net. It was, it was a cracking finish and uh, he made it 1-0 and that's how it remains uh, so Chelsea can't catch them they're on 74 points and Chelsea are on 70 they can still get Champions League just if um, Liverpool lose to Brighton and Chelsea win on Sunday when they face Newcastle United who have just played at Spurs I can't see that happening um, I can't see Liverpool losing to Brighton. Even a nil-nil draw at this point would see them safe. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. The goal scorers for Manchester City were Danilo. A great run. He made a great run and a great finish uh, by Danilo. Made me think that uh, Danilo secretly a, a striker. It was brilliant. Uh, Joa... Uh, equalised after some fucking about from Claudio Bravo. 2-1 uh, it was with Bernardo Silva with a smart finish into the corner and Fernandinho made it 3-1 uh, with a finish from a corner. So that is pretty much it for tonight. Tomorrow West Ham host Manchester United in the final game this week before Sunday and the last game of the season. And pretty much there's nothing really to play for at this point. Chelsea can sneak into fourth, unlikely. Swansea can escape. But at this point, it's very unlikely. Premier League's pretty much done. So, that's it. 37 games. No one expected Huddersfield to do this. But they have. And credit to Dave, David Wagner and his side. It's been brilliant, and I watched them play in League One, and it's amazing what they have done since. I never thought this would happen. You know, I thought they'd always be a yo-yo side between League One and the Championship, but uh, David Wagner's come in and done great, and many congratulations to uh, Huddersfield Town. I had a Huddersfield Town fan comment on my video the other day, uh, so if you're watching, hello. And, but yeah, I'll leave the review here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, subscribe down below if you're new. I am Mike, and I will see you very soon.